The idea for starting the, the Sports Science Service uh, it's based on the fact that before I did my physio degree, I did a sports science degree, so obviously I've always seen the merits in, in sports science. So we wanted to bring uh, sports science services to, to this area and, and especially offering services that usually would be reserved for, for the elite athlete. Right Pumalani, so by the end of today we're essentially going to make you a better runner. So we've got to do a battery of tests. The services on, on offer are quite, quite varied, uh, ranging from a, a VO2 max test. Uh, th this test uses the, the face mask and that analyses expired air. So we'll have uh, an individual running on the treadmill that helps to determine uh, an athlete's level of fitness. If they're training towards a particular goal, then that test can tell them if they're on par or if, if there's a shortfall there, what is needed to be done to it to achieve that to achieve that target? Um, there's then submaximal VO2 max tests, which is a, a similar test but running uh, at a at a, a lesser intensity, um, and, and that, that's useful for individuals who want to know what their ideal race pace is. Another important and, and very useful test is the the blood lactate threshold test. Um, th this involves uh, taking a blood sample as someone is running on the treadmill um, and it's an incremental test so the blood is analysed to measure the amount of blood lactate and so th there'll be a threshold whereby once that blood lactate gets to a particular level then someone's performance is then going to uh, plateau and then deteriorate. This is uh, highly useful for an individual wanting to know um, a, a predicted time and also how to train towards achieving a particular time. So at 17.5 kilometres you was fine, he was only consuming about 50 millilitres per kilogram. So what I'm saying is 70 minutes is perfectly achievable. We might even be able to push it even more to maybe 68 minutes. The tests are the, the resting metabolic rate. So this is a, a nice test, it's just simply laying down for 15 minutes. And again the expired air is analysed and that will actually tell an individual how many calories they need to consume simply to survive. The beauty of these tests is that the tests are open to anyone. Um, usually it's for, uh, for the elite athletes, um, but with, with how, we, how we can function and offer these services, it can be used for, for the elite athletes down to the, to the recreational athlete, to the Sunday, you know, to the Sunday morning jogger. Um, with, with, no, um, with, with no bias whatsoever, so the, the, the tests are, are conducted in the same, in the same manner. Uh, but the, the beauty of having the, the sports science service within, within the physio clinic, within McBride Physiotherapy, is that the, uh, the, the services are, are often uh, interlinked. So for instance, if, if I'm uh, treating a running injury patient, um, we, we can combine that with the sports science testing. So if, if their injury is, is hampering their, their training, um, we, we, can, we can perform the, the, the testing whilst also treating the injury so we can hopefully get them, uh, get them back on track as, as quickly as possible. Incorporating all of the, uh, all of the physio services within, uh, within sports science can, uh, can maximise an individual's uh, potential and hopefully help them to achieve their goal.